Hi guys, for English today, uh, we're going to look at our Pi Corbett work uh, about the game. Okay, so if you've looked on your timetable, this is not just for this week. It's all It runs all the way through this week and then it goes into next week. So make sure that you keep hold of this stuff with you. Um, the, the document that we sent over to you is quite long. It's about 27 pages. If you want to print it off, great, have a go, print it off. If not, there's no problem by using it from a screen. Um, the game that we're talking about is one that you might be familiar with. It's called Jumanji. Now, originally in 1981, there was a book uh, written about it. Now, that that book has been made into films. One, a little bit, uh, quite a while ago with Robin Williams in. The recent one's The Rock, so you might remember him. Um, now, with that, there is a little clip that you can watch just to familiar, familiarise yourself with the, with the film. Um, obviously, get a parent's permission before you watch it. Um, but it's just, just a little clip, just so you can see what the story is a little bit about. Okay, so with the task that we're going to look at today, we're going to look at a few different things. But the main thing that we're going to look at today is how we can look at word mean making predictions and actually the overall story of what we're going to have at the end. Now, with our plot, you should be familiar with the fact that we have got normally about five or six parts to it, okay? The parts that we normally have, we normally have a build-up, uh, sorry, our opening, we have a build-up uh, where some, they tend to find something. Um, the problem, obviously something's going to go wrong, something major maybe. Maybe you can have lots of little uh, problems throughout. Um, you then go to a resolution. That resolution is where they kind of get over it. Find, figure out how to, to solve that problem. And then the ending where we find maybe a, a lesson that has been learned from it or, and try to make it end in a nicer way. It doesn't always have to though. Okay, so when we're looking at this, we've got, a, we've got an actual story that has been written around the book but it's not a an actual representation of it now you can actually listen to that the, the story if you want by following this this link here with that link um it will read you th through the story sometimes i find that can help um with expressions so you can get more involved with it if not and you're if you're not listening to it and you're reading it yourself try to put that expression in yourself just so then you can see um, maybe a little bit of the dangers or the problems or the excitement that is in there. It just makes the story a little bit more interesting, a lot more interesting in fact, and it means that you, you get a little bit more into the book. Okay, so this is the story. I'm not going to go and read it all the way through because there is quite a, few, a couple of pages to it. Um, but then we get to a point, it's on slide five, um, we have a bit where I want you to stop. Don't read any more. With this bit, it makes, says, I predict, okay? And it, but just reading the blue bit, it says, what next? We've stopped at an interesting part of the story. Summarise below what you think could happen next. Now, with that section, making that prediction, I want to see evidence in your text, from the text. Don't just say, I predict this might happen, and it could be from anything. I want to see you getting the evidence from the text, using those fact retrieval skills, uh, those inference skills as well, just to try and help make your answer a little bit more um, understandable, okay? Now, once you've done that, you're gonna carry on. You're gonna carry on reading through the text. The text will take you to page uh, seven, okay? Once you've gone through that, you're going to get your next task for today, okay? The next task is all about word meaning. It's understanding different words within the text. What it does ask you to do first is to take a look at all the, all the, the the story that you've looked at and highlight any words that you don't understand. If you go through, find a dictionary, try to figure out what they are. But remember, dictionaries give you dif different definitions for dif uh, words that could mean different things. So please make sure when you're looking at it, you put it in context with the text. So then you can make sure that you gain the right meaning for that word. Once you've done that, you're gonna get uh, go on to page eight. Page eight gives you a couple of examples it says, rain street the classroom window panes. That is actually in the text, okay? Now it gives you an, a definition of what it is. To, so to streak along is to move rapidly, quickly, okay? So 
Um, and then it gives you an example. John streaked a, a, along the pavement towards the crowd. Okay, so you can tell by the word, using the word street, he's running quickly, he's moving rapidly. Okay, now I want you to put yours in. I know from the writers in my class, and especially in the writers in this class as well, that you can put extra clauses in. Don't have it as a tiny little short sentence. Really, put, uh, put, make it interesting. Make it as, as the best sentence you can write. Don't forget about your capital letters, your commas and your full stops. Okay, they're really important too. Okay, so there's a few of those that I would like you to do. Okay, then you get to page uh, nine. Okay, the bottom of page nine, it says likes, dislikes, puzzles and surprises. Okay, now you've read the whole story. What did you like and dislike? What puzzled you? As in what questions did you have? If you did have any questions like why, what, how, what, what was happening in the story? And then what surprised you as well if, if something did? Okay, with this, I want you to use the bubbles on the next page. Fill them in, making sure that you're using... Uh, your, your answers, you're giving reasons, you're justifying it, okay? Use because, use um, examples from the text that to back your, your, your um, ideas up, okay? And then once you've done that, you can stop there for today. That's today's lesson.